welcome back to my Steel Chainsaw Restoration Part 2. In the previous video Part 1, I showed you where I bought the saw from and how much I paid for it. I also showed you the missing parts and then I tried to start it but I was unsuccessful. Quick compression test showed low compression and due to the fact that the saw was extremely dirty, I decided to strip it down completely and clean most washable parts with the pressure washer. After this, all delicate parts were deep cleaned and I ended up with a pile of parts ready to be reassembled. In today's video, I'm going to assemble the engine. I will then show you how to make a homemade spring installation tool. After this, I'm going to add some fuel and oil and fire up the engine for the first time after the restoration. I will then sharpen the chain and cut some logs and finally, after all this hard work, I'm going to test my steel glasses. In order to keep this part as short as possible, I'm going to start with the assembly process. Let's get started. I'm going to start to assemble the engine. What you want to know is that the piston has a direction and uh, there is a mark uh, with the direction on it at the front. So you want um, to insert your piston the correct way. So the easiest way to do it is to flip the cylinder upside down. Get a little bit of oil and uh, smear it on the cylinder head or the actual cylinder don't go mad just give it a little bit just so the piston can slide through and doesn't score the cylinder i'm going to put a little bit on the actual piston and the piston rings as well when you're assembling the engine just remember that the uh, the, the little pins on the piston rings, they always face the intake where the fuel goes through and uh, on the top of the piston you're going to have an arrow which will face um, towards the exhaust. Place the piston in the cylinder and then very gently slide it in, move it in slight circular motion. Not you in. Make sure the oil seals are sitting correctly and the bearings are um, properly seated. I'm going to put a link on the screen or in the description um, with the silicone that I'm using. In my opinion, this is probably the best silicone your money can buy. I've used this on any of my uh, BMW projects and other cars and vehicles that, I've, um, that I own. I've used it so many times and I've never had any issues.
Pay attention to the worm screw. Insert the sprocket over the worm screw. Make sure that this here notch aligns and fits on top of the worm screw. Now fit the needle bearing. Now insert the washer and the E-clip.
chainsaw is now assembled, so the next step is the moment of truth. I'm gonna add some fuel and see if it starts okay. I'm gonna add some chain and bar oil as well, so it obviously doesn't run empty and dry. As you can see, the saw is running really well after the restoration process. Um, the last thing I have left to do is to sharpen the chain. This is the kit I'm going to be using today. This is a 3 8 and, and quarter inch uh, kit. Um, it, it includes obviously the file for the uh, depth gauge and this is the actual depth gauge and the file is 4 millimeter. So this is a brand new kit that I just purchased. Um, so I'm going to be using this in order to sharpen the chain.
Oh, boy.